In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to separate an alignment into two separate parts while maintaining the stationing and the integrity of the vertical alignment that is a child of that horizontal alignment. So I have an original alignment that I'm going to set active and also an original profile grade line. So let's just take a look at those. I'll view the active horizontal and I'm going to create a quick profile here using the original alignment and I can display my vertical in that so what I want to do is break this somewhere in the middle so that I end up with a part A and part B alignment let me take a look at the horizontal tracking. So it looks like I could break this right around station 11 plus 000, and that would be a good spot. So the first step to doing this is creating some copies of this alignment, and we're going to do that using the command geometry utilities parallel horizontal alignment so I'm going to go from my starting station which is 10 plus 000, zero, zero and we're going to stop this at 11 Zero, zero, zero. So we're going to copy from the original alignment to an alignment that we'll call part A. Click apply and you can see here that part A gets created. If we review that you can see that it runs from station 10 to station 11. Okay, now I don't want to do the same thing for part B, so I'll start from original. And this time I want to start at station 11, 0, 0, 0. And we'll end at the end of the alignment. And we'll call this part B. So I'll click apply. So if I view profiles now for those two, you can see when I create the profile for part A, it's going to be this first section and part B is the second section here. So the first part is done. We do have our duplicate horizontal alignments. Now what we want to do is go in and copy the vertical in, in much the same way. So what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and set this original back active. So I'll use the command geometry, utilities, and this time we'll use parallel vertical alignment. So again we're going to start at station 10 plus 000, zero, zero and end at 11 plus zero 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 and we're going to go from our original alignment and our vertical alignment is profile grade line and we're going to parallel this and you notice when I parallel I'm not setting any offsets so it's basically creating a copy so I'm going to call this uh, part A and click apply Okay, and you can see that gets created under the original alignment, and that's okay for now. So we'll switch this for part B. We'll go down here and get the end here. Okay, and we want that to start at 11 plus 000. zero, zero. So this is coming from the original and 
the original profile gray line between these stations and we'll call that Part B. Click Apply and you can see now that we have that vertical alignment that's been created uh, as a child of the original. So the last step is to copy these two alignments to their respective horizontal alignments and that's very easy. You'll just go into Geometry, Copy Geometry, choose the tab Verticals, and we're going to go from the original horizontal alignment here and we're going to copy Part A to the horizontal alignment Part A and we'll call it Part A. Click Apply and now you have the vertical alignment under both the original and Part A. So we're going to do the same thing here for Part B except we're going to place it as a child of Part B and I'll change the name and click Apply. So you can see now that we have Part A with its vertical alignment and Part B with its vertical alignment. We can actually go in and delete these two. So let's now take a look at these two vertical alignments. So we can set this one to active for Part A and it should display here in this profile. So if we go to Geometry, View Geometry, Active Vertical, you can see that it gets placed here. And now if we go in and set this to Active, we should get Part B in the Part B profile, which is Geometry, View Geometry, Active Vertical. So now we've essentially divided this original alignment into two separate parts.